a very good evening ladies and gentlemen this is Elijah Bishoro welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here subscribe like I said this is the greatest YouTube in the Republic of Kenya and the E in my name stands for exactly what you need Langata member of parliament and a seasoned comedian and radio presenter Felix Kodiwur Elias aka Jalango has been on the receiving end for the better part of today for uh, paying fares for his constituents. So Jalango was seen at um, a stage in Langata whereby he was paying fare for some of the constituents and when the car is um, so he, he, he will just wait for the car to be full to capacity and then give out money to the conductors so that they are able uh, to, to, to offload the cost from his constituency. This move was highly criticized on Twitter for some reasons. One, Jalango voted yes for the finance bill of 2023. Now, the finance bill of 2023 increased the VAT or the value added tax of petroleum or fuel products from 8% to a whooping 16%. That is double the amount. So definitely, what will, what will the Kenyans do? This caused a spike in the cost of Kenyan fuel products, diesel, for example, and uh, petrol, diesel, kerosene, and everything else used to fuel transportation by uh, around 10 shillings, over, not around, over 10 shillings. And so what will the Matatu operators do? They will add a similar amount to all the commuters, okay? So they will just go to the commuters and add at the exact amount that uh, not exact but they will take advantage and add more for instance you see the cost might have increased say, by 15 shillings or 20 shillings but if you go to the uh, uh, the place where you bought the public service vehicle you will actually pay uh, like 50 shillings so in fact they stand to benefit uh, from that kind of increase in fuel, so he this was the reason. This was the reason why uh, he was being attacked online because he had a chance of denying uh, the government the ability to increase the finance bill by voting no, but he voted yes. And then now, after the prices have increased, he's here trying to show that he cares by paying fair for the constituents. This is the statement by Pauline Jaroge on Twitter that has made this guy trend. So, Pauline Jaroge says, you go to parliament and vote for fuel price to be increased to 195.53 Kenya shillings. Therefore, affecting fair price, the, the amount, the bus fare. Okay? Afterwards, you go hoping from one matatu stage to another paying fare for people. Okay, so now you bring some charity. How long will you sustain this? And in the entire Langata constituency, how many people can you cater for every day? Okay, so that is a question. And uh, he, she finishes by saying, this is madness. This is madness. So, so many Kenyans have come to criticize uh, Jalango. Uh, for the move that he has um, elicited of going um, to do fairs or to pay fairs uh, for people. Okay, so another person here says that um, 
okay i'm unable to retrieve that tweet but a brief about jalango jalango started off as a comedian at the kenyan national theater okay that is his roots that's where he started and he used to do set books okay um a, a, a very nice narration from him is nimhusika uh, you pick kwenye kipindi kipi alifanya nini a very nice narration if i can trace it i'll attach it and you see Jalango is so hard working. One thing I like about him is a very hard working member of parliament. Uh as a person, okay. He moved from that to Papa Shirandula uh, where he was an actor, is a program on Citizen Television. He was an actor for so many years. After that he moved to radio, uh, starting off at Kiss FM where his journey started as a as a radio personality and he was the top of his game for like over a decade where he was in radio he moved from Kiss FM to Hot 96 to Radio Maisha to Milele FM and all these times he's moving his pay grade is increasing and things like that <laughs> and he dared he had a dream he dared that you know what i was not just born for radio i'll go for the member of parliament position Jalango went back to school in Adista and he he took his studies seriously and uh, he was committed and graduated you know one of the uh, qualifications for you to become a member of parliament in the Republic of Kenya is that you have to have a degree a university degree which Jalango did not have okay but now he went back finished got the degree vied for the position of the member of parliament under the ODM ticket Okay, Orange Democratic Movement ticket, and he clinched the position once again. You know, I mean, his story is a story of highs, uh, so many highs in his careers. Even though he has had so many challenges, yeah, he he continued to 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 persist until uh, such point in time whereby he was able to gain what he wanted in life. And he tells us that he will be the first. President Luo, President of the Republic of Kenya, and um, it's possible uh, if he works for it. So yeah, Jalango's life has been up and down. You know, people online are coming for him, his haters and people like that. And he's somebody who does something, and it's, it, 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 it is taken seriously because he's highly, highly influential. Okay, so under the ODM ticket. Jalango uh, allegiance was supposed to be for Raila Amolo Odinga but at some point he was seen in state house Nairobi and he went there with a couple of other member of parliament members eh? and um he was in state house and when he was asked and he was questioned he said oh it's because of development in Langata remember the government is doing a lot of affordable housing at Langata you know and Langata also hosts uh, is near Kibera you know and that is why he was going to state house so after his frequent visits to state house his party actually uh, kind of uh, expelled him but not expelled him but they distanced themselves with jalango and at that point jalango could not even attend a meeting uh, where baba was could not attend a meeting where uh, baba was and uh, yeah it turned out that uh, he needed even Uh, permission to do these things but before that he was so vocal he could attend uh, uh, opposition rallies but now it has been so long since we saw Jalango in an opposition rally in a position meeting i remember the meeting he was blocked to att- uh, from attending was the pg yeah? the parliamentary group meeting yeah? but uh, we've seen him actually move away from the opposition and actually em- embrace government more government has been coming to langata he's there he's been to state house a lot of times he he doesn't contradict the president he doesn't contradict the ruling coalition he doesn't even attack them and uh, we can say he got a soft line in fact the deputy president said the lango belongs to them and indeed it's true because if you're going to vote for the finance bill against the wishes of your party you know the party that took you to parliament then it means you have already left and actually uh, Pauline Joroge is actually the organizing secretary of the Jubilee party remember the Jubilee party is affiliated to the Azimio coalition okay Azimio coalition has so many parties including Jubilee ODM and others and seeing 
Pauline attack uh, Jalango is a clear testament that they are not in line, they are not in sync, you know. And so, yeah. So, guys, that is there. You have it, guys. Jalango has been criticized. That's why he's trending because of paying fair, yet he voted yes for the Jubilee. Uh, not for the Jubilee, but for the Kenya Kwanza to impose more taxes to the people of the Republic of Kenya, therefore making the uh, therefore making the cost of living to be at an all time high. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for viewing my video. I appreciate your persistence. I appreciate your efforts. I appreciate your presence here and everything else that you have done for me. Thank you so much, guys, and um, you will continue to be part of my big family, and uh, I'll continue bringing you content worth your time. Meanwhile, uh, it's a wrap for myself. Adios.